Not on a good note, obviously, 11 boys perished and another 20 suffered severe burns in a fire that gutted their dormitories in Uganda while they slept on the night preceding Monday morning. Henry Nsubuga, the headmaster of the school in Rakai in southern Uganda, said he suspected some students had been expelled, who had been expelled recently while behind the heinous act. The fire ripped through the St. Bennett Secondary School in Rakai District, which lies about 280 kilometers south of the capital Kampala, near the border with Tanzania. Three people, including a guard at the school, had been arrested for questioning. The country is mourning yet again. Ten school children lost their lives in another school fire. 10 years after 20 lives were claimed by the same scenario at Bodo Junior School. This time it is St. Benedict Secondary School, Manya, in Rakai District, where the reception today is an unusual scene. A beehive of activities as the surviving students and members of the community join in the series of events. Evacuating survivors and moving the ones who are not lucky enough to make it to the health facilities for post-mortem. A scene caused by yet another school fire that raised down a dormitory housing senior three students at the school. Eyewitness accounts indicate that unknown persons locked the students in the dormitory and poured petrol on it before setting it ablaze. The results are catastrophic. Ten lives lost and over 30 injured. As the day went by, parents who had lost their children continued to gather at the school premises, letting out wails of sorrow, pains, only felt by a parent who sent a child to study and is now getting ready to receive and bury a dead body. A number of big shots rushed to the school. First was Security Minister General Eli Tumwine, who issued the preliminary findings. Some criminals or I think terrorists, we don't know from where yet, came and powered petrol through the window of the dormitory and they had actually tried on Thursday, they had powered and burnt, but the fire was put out. And then they now came again around midnight and powered petrol uh, into the dormitory, but first locked the dormitory from outside. Hours later, the chopper carrying education minister and first lady Janet Museveni touched the school playgrounds. Immediately, she was taken around the destroyed facility before she retreated into a private meeting with the school authorities and a section of bereaved parents. She later emerged to address the community gathered at the school. I wanted to bring your, your, your president's condolences to those families that have lost their children and to all of you to know that he also stands with you. Hers was a message of assurance that something will be done by the authorities. These people may think that they can run away and not be known, or be traced, but they will pay the price. In this life and the life after, because there is a judge who cannot be bribed. But what leads are the investigating agencies following? Our investigations show that on Thursday last week, an attempt was made to torch the same dormitory, but was averted by the school community. Our sources say a meeting had been called today to address the concerns and so the incident happened before that meeting could happen. It is also reported that there were visible disagreements within the structures of the school that had to be ironed out. My internal wrangles have been on for some time here and I think all these will help police to investigate. The school had also reportedly expelled a number of students who appeared to join the list of those likely to be investigated. However, our team made observations that probably should be factored in. First, amid its numerous fires in the past, a number of security directives were passed. The directives, however, have all been ignored. The windows had burglar proof. The beds had three deckers instead of the recommended two. For now, the survivors are fighting for their lives and the bereaved families taking in the tragedy while those whose children were burnt beyond recognition will now have to wait for the DNA results to identify their loved ones.